every single Canadian needs to realize that the threat of violence is what Trudeau has enacted last Friday. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Toronto. Well, folks, we just returned to Queen's Park. Uh, my cameraman Mocha and I were here on Saturday to basically cover the third installment of the Let Us Get Back to Work and School protest. And um, what happens with some of these protests is that there is a subgenre that is attracted to it. In the last couple of weeks, it has been certain individuals who are bemoaning the Justin Trudeau gun grab legislation. In other words, guns that are perfectly legal now are going to be illegal in less than two years. And if you don't turn them in, you're going to be a criminal for not doing so as opposed to a legal gun owner. And in a way, the gun gripe is related to the uh, coronavirus protests of let us get back to work because clearly what the Justin Trudeau Liberals have been doing is exploit a crisis or crises, uh, plural as the case may be, namely the Wuhan virus smackdown of the economy and of course last month's horrific Nova Scotia massacre. We ran into an individual and uh, this is what he had to say. Clear as day. He there's no debate to whether or not he did that. He didn't have any de democratic process to, to pass this bill, which actually broke the criminal code. So he broke the law again, which you can just add to his list since taking to office, right? And uh, we're not going to stand for it. And with the, uh, with the 2022 amnesty, like so April 30th, my question to Trudeau is what happens? Are you going to turn our own police and military against us to come confiscate these guns? Because that's honestly the only way you're going to get them. And so the message I want to send to all Canadians is that this is an act of war, and if this goes unchecked, there will be violence. And it's not going to be instigated by us. It's going to be instigated by the Crown against those who are willing to stand and fight for their liberties. So, Well, that sounds very ominous. Tell me, sir, if do you have some of the guns that will be classified as prohibitive in uh, less than two years? Yes, absolutely. Me and these boys, shout out to all these boys coming out here, fellow gun owners coming to support the cause. And absolutely, I have one. So what happens, sir, in 2022, when it's time to turn them in, are you turning in your guns? Absolutely not. Okay. No Absolutely not. Why doesn't Trudeau disarm his bodyguards? If he's that anti-gun, his bodyguards shouldn't have guns either, right? Yeah, those are, and those are handguns, right? And assault weapons as well. So why does he have those to protect himself, but I can't have them to go to the range? If you notice, there's police surrounding us here at Queen's Park. Every one of them has a handgun on their hip, and if they have a patrol car, there's going to be an AR-15 in here. So if he says there's no place and no use for any of these weapons in Canada, why hasn't he called the police to disarm? Why just the civilians? So is this a matter, sir, of one law for me, one law for thee? Absolutely. Amen. He's a tyrant, and you know what? The more he acts like one, the more we're going to treat him like one. The more he calls us criminals, the more we're going to act like criminals. I'm sorry. We're not going to comply with these tyrannical laws. We're not going to bow the knee. Um, our country, again, was founded upon the recognition of the supremacy of God and the rule of law. And Trudeau has asserted himself above th both of those entities, and that's not his place. So we're going to stand firm for liberty, for God, and for country. And certainly we know from the uh, Prime Minister's own words six years ago, before he became Prime Minister, he actually stated here in this city. The level of, of uh, admiration I actually have for China, um, because they're, you know, basic dictatorship is allowing them uh, to actually turn their economy around on a dime and say we need to go green as fast as we need to start you know investing in solar I mean there is a flexibility that I know Stephen Harper must dream about of having a dictatorship that he could do everything he wanted what do you make of a future world leader of a democracy saying such a thing uh, you cannot call him a leader of democracy if that's what he's saying. We've seen it in Hong Kong. The people who are disarmed getting shot in the streets, trying to rebel against their government. The police in the Nova Scotia shooting did not send out an emergency not, alert, not. which led to the death of many people. And that is such a tragedy, okay? With their guns. Too. With their guns. And they fired on a, what was it, a fire hall where civilians were taking shelter. The same police, well, obviously not these guys, but the same RCMP officers in Nova Scotia, you can look it up, they fired shots at a fire hall where the shooter was not, but there was innocent civilians taking cover. Do you think I want to put my um, protection in the hands of those people, or do I want to be my own first responder and be able to use one of these guns to stop that shooter in the future, God forbid, if another one arises? Because under the Canadian self-defense laws, if I were to do that, 
And if I were the first victim, I would be the criminal. If I shot and killed and prevented the many deaths, I would be charged. They would try to take away my guns and tell me how that at all is supposed to protect my life or liberties or anything. No, every single Canadian needs to realize that the threat of violence is what Trudeau has enacted last Friday. As we the people seek first and foremost to live in peace and liberty, having our rights protected by the supreme God, and to those who would sacrifice essential liberty for feigned security, you will obtain neither liberty or security. So there you have it folks, in addition to this grotesque gun grab, we have people being told to stay at home, not to go to work, not to go to school. Don't you dare walk through a park. Don't you dare inline skate through a parking lot or else you'll get fined almost $1,000. So this crisis we're in, it has basically eroded so many of our civil liberties and our, and our rights that we have long taken for granted. I wonder what other rights we might lose in these dark days ahead as the Wuhan virus protocols continue. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Folks, are you tired of uh, Justin Trudeau's virtue signaling when it comes to guns? Then put your name on our petition. Go to handsoffourguns.ca, that's handsoffourguns.ca, and let your voice be heard.